So I uh, watched this the other day. Thank God I got to see it for free because there's no way I'd pay for this fucking garbage. Boy. Well, first off, I'm just FYI, I'm not uh, feeling terribly well here. I'm surprised I'm even able to do this so far. Put the banner here for um, for those of you who do want to throw your life away on this. Just let you know we're talking about spoilers here on this god awful nugget of deer turd. So the first part of the movie I did like. That right at the beginning part I did like where they had. Uh, the, the Guardians of the Galaxy people or whatever, and um, Thor is fighting this gigantic army of, like, um, owl people or something who are fighting with these other people. And uh, it, that's really cool. I did like that. that, that but everything else after th that is just... Uh, Boy, man, I, I don't know if I'm going to get through this. This is just, just god-awful, man. God, th this is probably the worst Thor movie I have ever seen. So, most of the movie, Thor's, once again, pathetic, sad loser. And uh, he decides to get in shape, get off his ass finally. And then uh, Jane here has cancer and decides the only thing that can save her is to go and uh, become Thor, which I guess anybody can be Thor now at this point, how they did everything on this movie. So she goes to New Asgard and the hammer that smashed comes back together and it goes... That goes to her, and now she's Lady Thor or Mighty Thor or wh whatever. The only good thing in this movie is um, Christian Bale. I mean, his character looks like shit. I'll, I'll say that. They ripped off Death from Bill and Ted movie. This is This is basically Death from Bill and Ted movie. That's all this is. And... He he was really good as the villain. That, that's that I'll give him that. But he he just looks like shit on here. He just looks like total shit. They could have done a way better job of making him more accurate and everything. And anyways, um, most of the movies about Jane and Thor is kind of a side. Per if you've seen uh. Doctor Strange and the Madness movie. You, you know how Scarlet Witch is the um, star of that movie, not Doctor Strange in his own movie? Well, this is the same thing. Thor is a side person in his own movie. It's just really fucking bad. It's just... I really don't know how I got through it. So, um, at one point on here, let's see if they show it, they actually go to Olympus where Zeus and all the gods and all that are supposed to be, and Zeus is played by Russell Crowe, who talks like a Mario, because I'm a Zeus, uh, and I'm coming to help with the Thor. Oh, man, it, it was really... That's that's how Russell Crowe talks in the movie. I'm I'm not joking. He's a Zeus uh, and he's angry at a Thor and he's going to kill him with uh, with the electric lightning bolt uh, because the god a killer he can't come here to kill us. There he is. So Russell Crowe is wearing a dress in this, and he's challenging. Thor, because Thor called him out and said, oh, you're just going to hang out here and be bitches. Okay, well, I'll go fight it myself. And then 
Zeus throws the lightning bolt at Thor to kill him. Thor grabs it and throws it back and knocks him off this thing, and you think he's dead, but he's not. And then at the end, uh, they're showing Zeus, who's going to send Hercules now to kill Thor, which is, I don't know. I, I just don't know, man. It's just, it's just god-awful. So at the end of this movie, uh, Jane is pretty much dying in a hospital bed, and Thor tells her to die in the hospital, don't come and fight and do all this. So Christian Bale nearly kills Thor, and guess who comes in to save the day? Powerful Whammon. Once again, the same fucking cliche. So she saves Thor's sorry ass. And then Christian Bale runs into this thing. <clears throat> so anyways, oh, let, me, let me explain Christian Bale's point in this movie. Christian Bale, his whole point in this movie is to go to this god called the Eternity, which I'm assuming is supposed to be God-God or whatever, because when Christian Bale goes in there, he's telling this thing, Give me back my child. I want my child. It was wrongly killed and all this stuff. And then Thor was like, uh, you've won. Don't kill the gods. The, not all of the gods are evil. And then Christian Bill's like, I, wouldn't, I didn't want to kill all the gods. I just wanted to get to this one so I can get my kid back. So Christian Bill goes around killing all the gods for nothing just because he wanted to get to this one. To ask for its kid back. So this thing tells him. That he has to kill himself. So that. Uh, his daughter can come back. So his daughter comes back. And then Christian Bell when he's dying. He's, he tells Thor. Oh train my daughter and all this. And Thor says okay. I'll train her. And the end of the movie is. Thor and, and, this, and his daughter. Uh arrive on this planet and there's some war going on and Thor's like, okay, you you kill those guys. I'm going to kill these ones. And they're just running to go fight this battle. And it's like this... Let me see if they show it. Um, don't, I don't think they will show it on here, but... No, I don't see her. Well... That's the end. Him and the daughter of the God Killer guy are now like this duo team. That's the end of the movie. Just god awful. Well, they won't show it on here, the kids, so. Um. What was some other stupid crap on here? Oh, they, um. Tessa Thompson, who is the most god-awful actress in history, the black Valkyrie chick, <clears throat> she has a 10-minute talk with the rock guy on here about uh, homo-loving and gay crap and all this stuff, and the rock guy's explaining about how they mate and all this, and then he's telling uh, Valkyrie, like, Oh, I know you're gay and you miss your lovers and all this, and that's why you drink. It's just this whole pointless scene of just them talking about gay homo crap for no reason. It brought nothing to the movie, had no reason to be there other than the virtue signal crap. That's all it was, was virtue signal. <clears throat> and then um, another weird thing is. So they're fighting on this moon. And none of them apparently need oxygen while they're fighting on the moon. Even Natalie Portman's character doesn't need it for some reason. Because <clears throat> they're, they're Thors, I guess. But when they leave and go back to New Asgard, they're acting like they had to hold their breath or something. It was very weird. Like I'm like, so... What, you're trying to say they were holding their breath the whole time while they were fighting there? Like, it's... 
there's so much stupid shit in this movie, man. Just absolute stupid crap. Anyways, um, I, I can't advise anybody to watch this. They totally destroyed Thor. Totally cucked him. And now he's going to be led around by a 10-year-old girl like Obi-Wan was on his show and be lectured to about, who knows, trans fats and gl global warming and stupid garbage and Thor's a piece of crap and you're a white guy and all that. and Avoid at all costs, man. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still sick, but I wanted to make this because I can't believe how fucking bad this movie was, man. Just god-awful fucking garbage. Avoid at all costs. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.